This week in the Science and Environmental Lab, fracking can be disruptive to communities and a poultry vaccine study underway. Shale gas exploration of fracking in South Africa has stirred many emotions over the years. Shale gas mining is a process that applies the technique of high volume, horizontal and slick water fracturing. Melissa Powers, Associate Professor and the Founder and Director of the Green Energy Institute at the Lewis and Clark Law School in the US, explains just how disruptive it can be to a community. We have communities in the States that now have earthquakes because uh, we dis dispose of the wastewater from fracking deep underground. They've never had earthquakes before and now they have to get earthquake insurance and they experience somewhat regular earthquakes. So. It is a disruptive um, process for sure, especially when you're moving into an area that already has people engaging in different activities other than the oil and gas exploration activities. In response to the increase in poultry culling, South African researchers are conducting a study to find a vaccine to combat infectious coryza in chickens. Carreza is usually acute, sometimes chronic, highly infectious disease of chickens, occasionally pheasants and guinea fowl. The disease has increased the culling rate in poultry, causing a decrease in egg production by 40%. The poultry sector accounts for 48% of the agriculture industry. The University of the Free State Biotechnology lecturer Dr. Charlotte Boucher says vaccinations for chickens have to be imported and it takes 15 years for them to be approved. So if we can locally produce vaccines to the small farmer, it will be much cheaper. And we're also looking at, at vaccines that we can feed to the chickens. So for somebody who's got backyard chickens and chickens in the rural areas, it would be easier to feed these chickens with the vaccine. Stargazers witnessed dozens of metros or shooting stars on Tuesday night. The Orionid metros appear every year around this time, when Earth orbits through an area of a space littered with debris from an ancient comet. Normally the shower produces 20 or so metros per hour. And scientists studying fossils have discovered that the intimate act of sexual intercourse used by humans was pioneered by ancient armored fish called placoderms about 385 million years ago in Scotland. In an important discovery in the evolutionary history of sexual reproduction, the scientists found that male fossils of the Microbrachius dicki, which belongs to a placoderm group, developed bony owl-shaped genital limbs or called claspers to transfer sperm to females. Females for their part developed small paired bones to lock the male organs in place for mating. Placoderms are the earliest vertebrate ancestors of humans. For more science news, go to the SABC News website, www.sabc.co.za forward slash news.